let's begin with Action News reporter John Paul live at a school in St. David's, Delaware County. And John, the kids there, they were enjoying a viewing party. They had such a good time here. Shari, Rick, yeah, we're at Wayne Elementary School here in St. David's. And what they did was they had all the kids come out into the field behind me. It didn't look as bright earlier today, though. The clouds did not want to cooperate, unfortunately, but the kids still had a really good time. I just heard that it was like really cool. I've never seen an eclipse. Yeah. But that changed today for the kids at Wayne Elementary School. The school decided to use the rare event to go outside. Today, the field was their classroom. The sky was their teacher. It honestly doesn't get old. It's not no, it doesn't. Along with Dr. Eclipse. We're lucky that we're also able to see it on a school day. So we're out here in this giant field together. And this is going to be a memory that they're going to have for the rest of their life. We thought that this would be a fantastic opportunity for our kids to really come outside and experience something that they'll be talking about for the rest of their lives. Despite some clouds, the kids did catch sight of the celestial phenomena. <laughs> and describe the event like only elementary students could. It's like kind of like a cookie with a bite taken out of it, <laughs> like the little one. It's kind of like the sun is a cookie and, and, the, um, and the moon's kind of like taking a bite out of it. The school incorporated the eclipse into their lesson. There was a place for the neurodiverse and the kids made eclipse art too. Today, it didn't matter that the clouds got in the way. The eclipse was only part of the lesson. I hope as always, anything we do together, the sense of community, the sense of excitement, the sense of learning and wonder, and just that they had a good time. You could hear it in their voices. Those kids definitely had a really good time out here. And it did get a little bit better after the height of that totality, that 90%. The, starts, uh, the clouds started to move away and some kids kind of lingered out here. They also got to keep these uh, solar glasses with them. So when they're in their 20s and 30s, they can do it all over again. We're live at uh, Wayne Elementary in St. David's. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick Shari. Yeah, hold on to those glasses because in 20 years, <laughs> don't lose them. They'll be worth some money. <laughs> All right.